This is a French classroom, but everyone here is speaking Breton. The language may be under threat, but for the pupils here, Breton is very much alive and well. It makes a change from French. To defend our culture, we have to speak Breton. Someone will always speak Breton. It won't disappear. 30 years ago, a group of parents created a school network called Divan, which means young roots, to revive the Breton language and teach it to younger generations. Thousands of children have learned this way. Some, like Morvan, the maths teacher, are now passing it on. The Constitution defines French as the sole language of the French Republic. For decades, French authorities had forbidden children to speak Breton in school, punishing and humiliating those who disobeyed. Very quickly, speaking Breton became shameful. Few dared to speak Breton even at home, and only local elders spoke it fluently. Breton was the dominant language, but in less than a century, its use plummeted. The number of speakers declined by 80%. Fewer than 200,000 people speak Breton in this region today. That's less than 13% of the population. Breton is the only language in history that has declined so dramatically in such a short period of time. Even the local public radio shifted to French. Now only one hour of programming is broadcasting Breton daily. Ratings are minuscule and the audience is aging. We're not just a bunch of old journalists here. Some new Breton speakers are joining us and that's good news. In 40 or 50 years, Breton will not be widely spoken, that's true. But it will still be around, that's for certain. The new young crowds are embracing the traditional Breton culture which is marking a renaissance. The Breton language is viewed as a way to reconnect with a lost identity, a form of resistance to globalization. These young Breton speakers are determined to keep their language alive. Estelle Yusufa, Al Jazeera in Quimper, Brittany.